Yo, what's going on everybody? Uh, today, uh, I know I haven't been posting in a while for my videos anyways, but I don't know. I've just been kind of collecting things and trying to like, you know, uh, get stuff to make content with. It's, it's so hard when uh, you only have like, you know, your one car and uh, basically you gotta like accumulate certain things to make certain contents. Uh, but I don't know, but today, I was waiting for this for a while uh i've been meaning to upgrade this uh unit for a while and i finally got came around to it and today we're gonna be upgrading the iDrive unit on the f32 uh i got this right here all right so this is the unit right here so it is obviously a bigger screen it's about a 10 inch and a quarter it is using the linux or linux i guess screen display uh but yeah i mean everything is supposed to be plug and play so we'll see how that goes and it comes with all the wiring harness all plug and play and with an aux cord as well so i think we have to use that regardless but all right let's get to it all right so that is the oem monitor right there or the iDrive screen so as you can see very very outdated looks so very uh early 2000s you know what i'm saying <laughs> but obviously we're gonna have to take this out so just need a pry tool plastic uh, I'm gonna start from the edge all the way down as usual just pop it up uh, and then we'll get to the inside of it here and then you also have to pop this down here and then all right we'll go from there all right so we're just gonna basically pop from here in the corner pry tool just stick and twist All the way around. Should come off. There it goes. Simple as that. And then I'm gonna have to push that out and then unclip these wires here so I'm just gonna do this real quick without the camera all right as you can see these two wires are out uh, and then you're gonna need to unscrew these for the head unit but before that we have to kind of disconnect all this stuff on the bottom here for the wire uh, and like I said they're gonna be a bunch of t20s I have it on my power tool here I'm just lazy, I don't want to use my hands. Okay, let me see. Right. Okay, but first we have to, basically this was here, I just popped it out with the pry tool. And then we have to take this out right here. Um, let's slide that out real quick. Like that. That's just the cover. Throw it in the back, keep it safe. So you see there's more screws here. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm gonna start just going ham at it. But you get the idea, so on to the next clip. All right, so we got all the screws out, and that is the face. And it's just this one clip here. So after you pull that clip off, it's it's kind of stubborn if you've never done this before. So, but be gentle. It is plastic. All right, I'm gonna set this aside here. Don't want to break that. And then it's obviously be two more right here. 
yep two more and then i'm gonna take this off as well all right so right now i'm just routing the main harness so that way i can plug it up here but it has to go through that little hole right there so route that up there you see a little white the white plug right there it's supposed to go up through here it's a tight spot but we're gonna have to plug it into here the back side of it um it's just a tight squeeze and i'm taking my time and i'm forgetting to record too so uh once i do that i'm gonna show you what i did all right i don't know if you can see but that white plug right there um yeah so i ended up basically putting it upside down like that and just kind of feeling for it because otherwise it was a tight squeeze um and i managed to properly plug it in <laughs> uh yeah it should be good now what's weird is that i don't know if i really need this uh carplay wire because i am gonna be using the aux cable and to the aux port here uh, so i'm just gonna test it out before i plug everything back in obviously to make sure everything works and see if i can connect it uh and then yeah we'll go from there so cross my finger hope it works but that's it pretty much for the installation uh you plug this main one the original harness to the adapter here down to the back of that uh the rest is just the aux cable uh that's all connected yeah and then it's just gonna run down and i'm sure you have to plug it to your aux in order to play music so uh yeah let's see how it works all right guys i just set it up it does work it's pretty cool it's touch screen um so it's car setting audio display wi-fi obviously i'm using my phone to record right now so i can't really demonstrate how the sound quality is just yet but let's see here Light display night dimmer switch uh let's go back i mean it's pretty seamless i, I gotta take the plastic off so it'll be a little better but let's see audio speaker and then you can you can use your iDrive here as well so if you don't want to touch the screen all right so for the aux cable i kind of routed it um behind here through the side panel here tuck the wire under obviously under and then i brought it up through here where the e-brake cover is you see the wires right there and then i slipped it all the way through um, underneath the tray here i should have shown you before i put it back in but oh, anyways um as you can see it's right there the wire and it goes to the plug so that way outside of that you won't be able to see the aux cable so it looks you know as oem as possible all right all right, so I need to put that cover back on. Then I'm gonna go through the uh, screen with you guys again, and see how things function. Okay, so I had some technical issues before when I plugged everything in. My iDrive was just frozen. I couldn't move it at all or anything. And then for some reason, I just had to pull everything apart. And then I had to go to the aux right here and literally just basically set it at aux at all time for some reason i didn't do that the first time and it wasn't allowing me to even move anything on my iDrive but now that i got that situated it should work and i'm able to connect to my um my my iDrive and my phone and everything so yeah all right everyone it is the next day um finally got the settings and pretty much um set everything up to make sure it's function everything works and yeah it's pretty good i like it so far um it's the maps music all that but like i said i'm sorry i can't test the sound quality on it for you guys but it sounds pretty good in my opinion 
I am just basically, uh, you know, using my phone to record so I can't really show sound and music at the same time. All right, that is gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys found it at least somewhat helpful or, you know, if you have like an older model BMW like mine, base model, like anywhere 2015 or below or something like that. It's a it's a nice, cheap or affordable upgrade that, that pretty much anyone can do. It's just honestly pop a few panels off and unscrew a few bolts and just plug in all the connectors with it and it's pretty much you know it's it's easy gone it's easy plug and play that's that's what i like about uh setups like that and yeah now it, it feels like you know i'm in a bit bit more of a newer car i would say so yeah i like it man so far so good uh but anyways hope y'all like the video subscribe comment you know all every any any interaction that y'all do it's it's much appreciated see y'all